the first uh, PDF annotation app is Zodo. So I open the Zodo app. So once you open it, you will uh, see this plus sign over here. So once you select it, you see there are four different options. The first option is new PDF. Then we have PDF from image. Then we have PDF from documents. And then we have PDF from web page. So I will select PDF from documents. So once uh, I select it, uh, I will open any PDF. So for example, I select this PDF, uh, then I select it and then I convert and then I again select it. So the PDF is now open. So this is my uh, PDF file and on top I have all the necessary tools to annotate it. Okay, so for example, if you want to highlight um, some of the lines or some text in the PDF, select this tool. Okay, and then simply just uh, do it, just scroll it like that, and this will be uh, selected. And then if you want, uh, you can translate it. Okay, if you want, uh, you can change the color. So here is the color option. You select there are different colors. Okay, you can see over here and there are more colors option as well. Okay, and then you want to change the opacity if you want a little darker or lighter. So you can do it. Uh, then we have the uh, free highlighter tool. So in the free highlighter tool, if I select it, so then you can freely highlight anything. Okay, so like this one. Okay, and then this one. And then we also have the option of colors and opacity as well. Uh, the other one is the underline tool. So for example, if you want to underline something in your PDF, for example, like this part, if you, I want to underline, I just simply select it and it will automatically underline it for me as you can see over here. And then we have text uh, strike tool. So this is the text uh, strike tool. So for example, if you want to do the text uh, strike tool, you can do it. So it will be like this. Then we have uh, this text uh, squiggly tool so text squiggly tool is like this one okay and uh, uh, then uh, we move forward and then we have the uh, note tool okay so for example if i want to make any note i just select it and then you can write a note over here so you can write anything over here so for example you can see okay and then you can save it so it will be saved as a note okay and then we have the important tool which is the text tool so you can select uh, this text tool and then if you want to write something you can write over here so for example if you want to write something just uh, uh, write okay so you can see over here and then you can save it so and then if you want you can change its position you want to change the color the te the 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 boldness whatever you want you can uh, do in this uh, text tool and then we have the call out tool so this is the call out tool so in call out tool for example if you want to uh, write something i will show you so for example uh, okay, so here if you want to uh, write something, you can use the call out tool, just uh, select it and then simply you can just uh, write it uh, whatever you want. Uh, for example, I just write here call out tool. Okay, and then you can save it and then it will be like this. And then if you want, you can change uh, arrow, you can change its position if you want to mention uh, something in your PDF. Then we have the most important tool, which is the uh, pen tool. Okay, so this is the pen tool. So in pen, we have different option, four different option. This is according to the thickness, the stroke, the size, the pressure, everything uh, over there. So if you want to write something, okay, so for example, I change the stroke to this size, okay you can write here okay if you want to mention something so you can freely write anything on your pdf okay then we have the razor tool if you want to raise something you can simply raise it and then we have the selection tool if you want to select some part you can simply select it you can see over here if you want to delete you can also delete it so guys if you go over here in, in the top uh, left corner you see this annotate option so once you select it you have the other tools list also available over here for example we have the draw tool so in the draw tool we have the pen tool shape tool so for example this is the shape tool you can create different shapes 
okay so you can see over here then we have different line tools okay so arrow tools so all the necessary tools are available over here and also we have the pen tool so you can use the pen as well okay so and then if you want to change the thickness or you want to change the style uh, you can also do it after the draw we have the fill and sign option the fill and sign tool so if you select it it gives you more options over here for example if you want to use this uh, sign tool you you can make your sign over here okay you can create a new signature for example i select this signature and then i press done now i want to uh, use this tool okay so for example if i go over here and then i select this sign tool i just do it like this and my sign will be automatically there and then we have the text tool if you want to write something then we have more tools over here for example like this is the text box tool so you can just write something if you want to write okay so this is the fine, uh, fill and sign tool you also have the stamp option for example if you want to use a different option okay for example you want to use this complete just do it like this and, and there will be this stamp in the pdf as well and then if we move down we have the prepare form the insert form and then we have the mayer if you want to use different mayers okay so you can see over here it is giving you all the details okay to measure anything so it has all necessary tools to annotate the pdf if you want to get more tools for example uh, if you want to uh, remove some sensitive data if you want to remove some uh, sensitive text then you have to upgrade it uh, the current version that i am showing you is the free version okay so if you want to buy it you can also buy it you can upgrade it it's like 15.99 uh, per year if you want to go more deeper or you want to get more access the second app that I'm going to talk about is PDF element. So I will open this PDF element. So once you open it, uh, it will be like this. And if you select it from here and then you select the open document option. So it will take you where you have all your PDF files. So you can select any PDF file. For example, I select this PDF file over here. And now if you want, uh, you can annotate this pdf file so you have to just select this uh, blue color icon over here it's like a pen icon just select it and you will have all your tools available over here okay so for example this first tool is related to the text highlighting if you want to uh, highlight your text okay so what you can do is i will show you so just select it like this and then for example you select this one and you want to uh, highlight some text so i just select it and then you see it is highlighted now if you want to use the underline option this is the underline this is the striking tool okay and then this is the squiggly tool so you can use this as well you can also change the color for the highlighter as well and uh, then the next uh, tool is the pen tool which is um, really important so you can use the pen tool if you and just hold it like this it gives you different option related to the thickness or the opacity or the color so for example if you want to write something you can write on pdf okay so this is how you can use the pen tool uh, then we have the uh, shape tool so this is the shape tool so there are different shapes you can see over here so for example like this one the circle okay the lines the arrows okay and then we have more option if you select uh, like this it gives you different colors option the thickness options as well and uh, if we move back uh, then we have this no tool just select this put it over here if you want to write something you can write in the note tool okay so you can see and then a uh, note tool is over here and then we have the uh, this uh, stamp tool okay the uh, different types of stamp you can use for example if you select it it gives you a different option approved not approved final confidential so you can use this tool as well for example you want to put it here you can use this tool as well and guys if you want to add pages in your pdf file you can also add uh, pages because uh, for example like this one is finished over here so if you want to add pages you can also add pages what you can do is uh, just go over here and you see these three dots okay and then you see this page option just select it and here you can add pages as well so what you can do is you see this pen option edit option just select it and then you see this plus sign option and then you just select it and then you select the page size uh, width and height okay if you select the default you can select default and then select next the page will be added over here so it has all necessary tools and uh, everything available in this app 
to annotate the PDF. The next tool that I'm going to discuss is uh, Foxit Pishin is uh, Flexil. In the Flexil, you can also do the PDF annotations. You can simply open any PDF file. For example, I open this PDF file. So if you go over top, you see all the necessary tools. There is a pen tool the shape tool the text tool everything available over there you can also make a backup of whatever work uh, you do if you want to open a new note you can also open a new note if you want to get some data and you can put in the new note as well so all the pdf annotation tools are available in the flexil as well uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much